Jacob Zuma's fresh wife kept secret that could cost her. Former President Jacob Zuma's latest baby mama scandal has landed his soon-to-be Makati in hot water. Nankin Izokanko, 24, made headlines on Friday after she reportedly gave birth to Jed Case's child in a Durban hospital last week. What many did not know is that Kanko is a National Executive Committee Treasurer and Communications Officer at She Conquers, a campaign aimed at reducing the increasing rates of HIV among adolescent girls and young women. The campaign demands of those involved to disclose their relationships, but as Kinko allegedly failed to disclose her relationship with Zuma, she was given until today to resign. In a statement issued by the campaign's deputy chairwoman, Leonori Mabe, she conquers said Kinko failed to disclose her relationship with Zuma and was not transparent about her affiliation as an executive member of the committee. She Conkers said the association between Zuma and Kunko was contrary to the principles the campaign stands for. Launched in June 2016 by then-Deputy President and current President Cyril Ramaphosa, the object of the campaign is to reduce the increasing rate of HIV among adolescent girls and young women, ending teen pregnancies and gender-based violence, and increasing economic opportunities for women are also part of the campaign. We have formally requested Kunko to resign with immediate effect. She has until today to do so or she will be recalled, read the statement. The relationship of the two is an opposite to the principles that the campaign and the She Conquers stands for, said Maeve. She Conquers said it had been unaware of all these occurrences and that it remained committed to ensuring the dignity of the campaign was restored. Our primary focus is putting the needs of the young people of this country at the forefront and ensuring that we do not send out contradictory messages. Young girls are lured and used by people with power who use their position to take advantage of us. We promote economic empowerment and self-dependency to eliminate the concept of reliance on blessers, Maid said.